Today I'm going to be making some brownies. They are gluten-free, they're delicious, they are fudgy, and they are made with some unexpected ingredients. So with that, let's get started. Go ahead and make sure that your oven is preheated to 350. I've already put my ingredients aside. All we do is measure our ingredients, dump them into the food processor, and put them into a pre-greased, pre, -greased, pre uh, I coated it with cocoa powder pan. This is a nine by six. The recipe calls for an eight by eight, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> um, we have some chocolate chips that'll be folded in and we have toppings. I chose walnuts and chocolate chips. You can choose anything you want. So we're going to drop our ingredients right into the food processor. Have some black beans. This is a can, 15 ounce can. We have two eggs that have been beaten together. We have one small avocado. The recipe I have calls for a half of a large avocado, but I don't have any large, so we are using a whole. It'll be a little more moist, but I love that texture. Have a tablespoon of coconut oil. So I'm kind of off center here. Um, here's baking powder, baking soda, and salt already combined together. Um, that is a half teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Have a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, only the finest from Trader Joe's. A half cup of pure maple syrup. You can also use two thirds cup of coconut sugar if you prefer that, or of brown sugar. Again, the maple syrup makes it a little more fudgy and silky, and I love that. Um, we have our cocoa powder. This is a half cup plus one tablespoon of cocoa powder. That's it. I'm going to combine everything. You don't need to hear that noise. Okay, so here is our brownie mixture, evenly distributed in the pre-greased, pre-cocoa dusted pan. I did fold in those chocolate chips, and now I have our toppings. So we're doing some walnuts and some chocolate chips. I may or may not have licked the spatula before <laughs> putting it in the sink. It's really yummy. And now, whew, it's hot. We're gonna put these in the oven. 